physical health is it's so cool and it's such a great pursuit because you can't fake it. Are you playing to win? Are you playing to keep playing? What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Strength Connection Podcast. I'm Michael Krakowski. Thank you so much for joining me. All right, this is a solo episode. It is you and me. Um, yeah, let's dive right into it. So I have one message I wanna dive in. I've been pondering about uh, quite a bit this week. Um, but before that, just gonna recap a little bit of what's happened on the show. It's been a really fun uh just very grateful for this week of connection. Some really interesting conversations uh, that happen. I want to tell you a little bit about it, of what's going to be coming up, and uh, yeah, kind of roll from there. So first off, the last solo episode that I did on um, talking about the seminar that I did on microdosing um, and plant medicine had some really interesting feedback and some really good questions from some people through social media, through my email on there. So uh, for those really appreciated, um, it's an interesting topic to dive into, and it's been a um, really cool personal journey uh, for me over the last six months of doing this and seeing just the results, the benefits, why I did it, just kind of being able to curate this, um, these thoughts that I've had uh, on it and share it with you. So for that, thank you very much. If you're interested in that and you didn't listen to the last episode, I encourage you, please, uh, go do so. I don't think it's that long. Maybe it's like 15 minutes or so. Um, but yeah, it's been a, it's been a fun journey on that. And uh, I'll, I'll probably talk about it a little bit more as get some more kind of downloads uh, from it. So it's been pretty cool. Um, great to release the episode I did with Dr. Ryan Wolfert this week. Um, Ryan's one of those guys I just love talking to, uh, you know, his energy, just his passion for what he does. You know, he's a doctor of chiropractics, but he talks more about mindset than anybody else I do. Mostly the people I talk to about mindset are mindset coaches, uh, you know, fitness trainers a lot. And to really have a doctor come in and he changed his whole program, the be your own guarantee program around, you know, physical training around mindset, and then really gets into the chiropractics with the spine um, and work there with posture. It's really cool to talk to him. Uh, you know, he invited me to do his mindset matter summit earlier this year when I got to talk a lot about the highway of strength. So to be able to have him back on and just chop it up about stuff. Um, it was an absolute blast. So if you like a good, just back and forth talking about these things of just, you know, two guys trying to improve their lives, then this is definitely one that you want to dive into. So that one's out right now. Next week, I'll be releasing the episode I did with Tim Anderson on his new book, Be Naked. Um, talked about this episode a couple different times, both in my private Facebook group from this podcast, as well as a little bit in the last solo episode. But if there's anybody that, I guess, lives the strength connection, you know, physically, mentally, spiritually, Tim Anderson is that guy. Um, you know, he's a blast to talk to on the physical front with all his work he's done with original strength. Um, unlocking the strength in own, your own body, just using some very interesting methods that he created uh, with his team. But then really, this one was so deep on the spiritual front and on the mindset front, how he wrote this book. Uh, it was one of those that, I mean, it's a short book. It's like only 95, maybe 100 pages. And right off the bat in the first chapter or two, he was writing out some quotes and some phrases that just personally hit me immediately where I just had to sit back and ponder. Like he really goes deep into this and you can tell that this was a personal journey that he wrote down. So it was really just very joyous to, to have Tim on and uh, talk about the pod, uh, talk about the book and just dive into it. So that's going to be out next week. And then I just, uh, this week I got a chance to record with Pamela Nygaard. Pamela is, I was connected with her few, uh, through a mutual friend who she has developed one of the most interesting um, medical AI programs I've ever heard of. Um, I'll kind of leave it at that. Uh, I'm still kind of processing everything that she has done over the last like two decades of building this medical program. But essentially, this is something that I think is going to be revolutionary in the medical field in the Western world. Um, you know, utilizing AI to develop ways to get centralized information about our health of just what's going on in our body and how we can optimize it and actually have like one specific space where we can get real information uh, versus just human error of going from different doctors, you know, anytime, like you can do that in anything, right? If you go to different coaches, you're going to get different perspective based on what they know, what they've seen work. I mean, just from their own experiences, it doesn't mean that they're a good or a bad person by what they give you. It's just sometimes what they know. And it's the same with doctors. And I think that's 
a tough thing about the medical field is there's just so much information out there. So many different people working on different ways to optimize their health to, you know, uh, battle chronic diseases, all this stuff. So to think that one doctor just knows all the information that you need personally for yourself, it's, you know, kind of crazy. So this is something that she's done of really developing something to centralize all this information in one spot. Absolutely fascinating. I can't wait to have this come out. And she's going to come back on to dive deeper into some more stuff that we only touched on that I wanted to go deeper uh, into with her. So that's going to be out in a couple of weeks. So yeah, it's been really been a really cool couple of weeks on the podcast. I'm excited to share these new information, new episodes out. So the one thing I wanted to talk about on this today is, you know, I think fitness and the physical, physical health is, it's so cool. And it's such a great pursuit because you can't fake it. You know, it's like, it's one of those things that you can't fake being strong, being conditioned, you know, having great blood work, you know, having, you know, strong mindset. It's like, these are things that you just need to practice like over and over again. And those people that I've connected with, the ones that we all aspire to be like, the ones that are really succeeding year in and year out on all different levels, could be physical strength, could be cardiovascular strength, it could be, you know, nutritional health, it could be optimizing their blood work. I mean, all the different things that we, you know, cater to success and health, they're all doing good at. Maybe they're not optimal at every one all at once, but they're overall still very good at their working of developing each one of them. You know, those journeys of to get to that, you know, lifestyle could be different on so many different fronts from every different person that you talk to who's succeeding in it and living that life. So I always wonder, like, what is the commonality behind all of them? And I think it is playing the infinite game versus the finite game. You know, if you've heard that before, I mean, Simon Sinek popularized that uh, term. Um, I forget the origins of it, but essentially it's like, you know, are you playing to win? Are you playing to keep playing? And it's like the ones that really succeed over and over again, they're playing to keep playing. There's not an, any finish line in sight. And specifically in the world of fitness, the world in weight loss, like so many programs are built up to have you win. Like it's, there's a finish line and you just need to push hard and you have to have discipline for this period of time. And then you get to this moment and then you can let that sigh of relief go and then just ease off the gas pedal. When the ones that really succeed and the ones that we really all aspire to do, those are the ones that their goal is to keep, you know, to keep playing every single day at the highest level. And it is fascinating because there's so many different shortcuts that we have been trying to develop in our culture over and over again to help us not have to do that, right? So the analogy I always I think is interesting is if you think of a tree, right? It's like when you grow a tree, like you grow in height, it grows more branches, but you need the strong roots at the same time. And if you're playing the infinite game, then it should be simultaneously you're growing and you're increasing your height while also simultaneously deepening your roots. And it'd be easy to say like everything's 50-50, like for every inch of height that you gain, you gain an inch of depth in the roots. But oftentimes it's not like that. Like sometimes you're not seeing anything on the surface of growth, but you are still deepening the roots. I've had a week, couple weeks personally like that, where I feel like it was just kind of, you know, hitting the wall in everything that I was doing, being like, what the fuck is going on? Well, in reality, like, okay, I'm still doing the boring work. I'm still getting the things done that I need to my high yielding tasks every day. So even if I'm not seeing this over the, the top of the surface progress that I'm trying to aim for and growth, it's still deepening the roots and eventually those even out. And then at the same time, it's different. Like some, we're just focusing on growth and we're not deepening the roots. Those are the shortcuts. If you keep doing that, then the roots aren't strong enough. The whole thing eventually tips over. And that's where a lot of things seems to come to. I mean, you can, if you want to drop weight, you can have gastric bypass. I mean, a lot of people have done that. And I'm not saying it's wrong, but if you eat like shit afterwards and you don't move and you don't follow those good things that you need to do, then it's a good chance you're going to gain the weight back. You know, you can take a endless amount of steroids. And if you don't go to the gym and actually work hard and actually lift and put in that work, it's not going to matter. It's not going to benefit you, no matter how many you take. 
it's the same financially. People win the lottery, right? It's like the 90% of people, you know, go broke again after a few years after winning the lottery. It's because they got the shortcut. There was no deepening of the roots to make all that money and to be super financially successful, you know, takes many, many days, many, you know, hard working days of building that up so you can sustain it and you can maintain it. And now it's so interesting of kind of going into the AI world. It's kind of like there's people think, oh my God, it's another shortcut. It's going to like, you know, it's going to dissolve all these jobs. It's going to, you know, be, you know, tough. Some people are freaking out about that. It's like, no, if you're playing the infinite game, like then it's just going to be another resource that you can use. So that's, I guess, the just the overall message I wanted to share on this episode. Um, and I'm always looking for those commonalities of all the people that I get to talk to on the podcast and seeing like, you know, what is, is there a common denominator among everybody, regardless of what field they are? Like they're all pursuing mastery. They're all trying to really better themselves and, um, you know, do this for the long haul. So they're playing the infinite game. So that's my message here. Like if you are struggling at all, you know, with uh, what you're aiming for and what you're focusing on, that's always a good checkpoint. Like, am I playing to win or am I playing to keep playing? You're playing to keep playing, then just do your best every single day and you just keep doing it over and over again. And uh, yeah, it's been a cool pondering thought over the past, you know, week and change of doing this. So anyway, I'll leave it at there. Thank you so much for listening, guys. Really appreciate all your support on this podcast. And until next time, I'll catch you then. All right, peace. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you found some great value here. And if you like this episode, please drop a comment and leave us a five-star rating and review. It does more to build the show than you can imagine. And do not forget to check out and join the Strength Connection Facebook group. In this group, I share the biggest takeaways and lessons from these amazing conversations, as well as training and strength tips for pursuing mastery and fulfillment in life. It's, this group is filled with individuals looking to take full control over their strength, and it's the perfect space to explore new ideas and to share your journey. And you'll also get exclusive access to the Strength Connection Mastery Seminars. It's a deep dive into the physical, mental, and spiritual training that you can begin using immediately. So do not wait. Go now. Seriously, go. I right, much love to you. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you on the next one.